country, and I'm afraid I don't have very good news for you. Kenyans will have to brace for tougher times ahead, with projections indicating that the ongoing dry spell may last until October this year. According to the chairperson of the National Steering Committee on Drought Response, Peter Ndegwa, the number of those facing starvation may soon hit 6 million, up from the current 4.3 million. Ndegwa led calls for more support from Kenyans of goodwill as the committee prepares for the second phase of relief food distribution. The committee has so far raised 650 million shillings towards drought mitigation and hopes to raise 1 billion shillings by the end of February. And as Surfin Achieng Ouma reports, the committee also signed an agreement with the Media Owners Association to support its Wakenya Tulindane campaign. At Mangai village in Lamu County, Fatma Hussein is preparing the only food available for her children, mangoes, which is boiled and served as is to last them until the next day if they are lucky. This is what has become normal for residents here who have been forced to survive on wild fruits from the nearby Boni Forest. The same fit befalls Mze Shingo Ali, a visually impaired farmer. His crops have failed due to the prolonged dry spell, but with resilience, Mze Ali tends to his farm in the hope that things will get better soon. Mze Shingo and Fatma are part of the 4.35 million people who, according to the National Drought Management Authority, are facing starvation due to the prolonged drought that has affected 23 counties, with the situation worsening in 21 counties. During their latest briefing in Nairobi, the National Steering Committee on Drought Response revealed that the drought is likely to get worse, with the numbers of those affected expected to rise. The 4.3 million people who are suffering will increase closer to the 6 to 6 million. The understanding is until October, uh, this, uh, this issue is with us to stay. The committee, which was established two months ago, has so far collected 650 million shillings, part of which was spent on food donations to at least 85,000 people from five counties that have been worst hit. The second phase of the distribution of food worth 200 million shillings will begin this month. February, March and April are the most important months uh, and therefore we will target most of our efforts through these three months uh, to ensure that we reach as many uh, people as possible. For this to happen, the chairperson of the committee, Peter Ndegwa, led calls for more support from Kenyans of goodwill to alleviate the suffering of affected communities. We are targeting a billion by the end of this month and we'll set a new target after we hit that billion. So we will be calling upon Kenyans to continue giving to the Drought uh, Response Fund via pay bill 880. The committee has in the meantime entered an agreement with the Media Owners Association to support through dissemination of information about the drought response interventions. In, apart from uh, mobilizing Kenyans and uh, highlighting the issues, the media will also play a role of uh, ensuring they hold this committee and anybody involved in the distribution of the food to account. The committee affirms that it has set up effective governance structures to guarantee accountability in the management of funds received through this ongoing Wakenya Tulindane campaign. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.